you have to ask yourself, who would jump into this frigid water and go swimming? But that's exactly what brought us here. Gary Shredinsky swims in the creek. Gary Shredinsky, a.k.a. the creek man, will try to swim three miles in 40-degree water. And you know what's weird, guys? The water is so cold that the Vaseline falls off your face. He's doing this to raise money for a charity. He's doing this because he loves ocean swimming. He loves working a crowd. And most of all, Creek Man loves his squeeze box. Gary Shredinsky is a walking jukebox with an accordion. He regularly plays senior homes like this one in Manchester, knowing his unique show will bring a smile. is Gary's wheelhouse. It's the kind of accordion music he's been playing since he was a kid. Oh, I grew up with Polish immigrants and Sicilian immigrants. It was very old world. I started when I was age eight. And uh, the old, there used to be so many accordion schools across North America, it was a big, part of American folk culture, believe it or not, it was huge. While the accordion may have lost popularity from its heyday, Gary embraces it and makes a living with his music. In fact, you may have heard songs he's written in TV shows or Hollywood movies like The Bad News Bears. He also gets hired to play parties or weddings, anywhere someone wants to squeeze him in. They put up a monument to Captain John Smith on Ra in Rye Beach, and since 1614, he mapped the New England coast. And I go, guys, what do you want me there for? There was no accordion in 1614. Well, they still wanted me anyhow. <laughs> music lesson here. All that sound, it's thanks to Gary pushing air over reeds, kind of like a harmonica. It's not easy. An accordion can weigh 40 pounds. With one hand, you create a bass line with dozens of buttons. The other hand plays the melody. And don't forget to keep squeezing. An instrument that represents a lot of traditions, old world traditions, Parisian friends. Hungarian. Here in America, jazz. Each accordion he plays gets a name. This one is Angelina. He's collected dozens of accordions, mainly because people don't want them anymore. But they did back in the 1980s when the Creek Man was a wildcat. I went to UNH uh, yeah, as a teenager to, for forestry school, and I worked for the U.S. Forest Service, and I love that. And I, I do miss that, too, but uh, this took over. I started a radio show at UNH called The Polka Party, just with 10 records, as a joke. That show, Polka Party, was a hit. So much so, it never stopped. The Polka Party's every Saturday from 9 to 11, and I've been volunteering since 1987. Gary also writes and performs with his rock accordion band, The Surfs. Many of the accordion ditties he plays are inspired by his other persona, Creek Man, like the song Seal in a Creek.
A few years back, he started swimming in waterways along the seacoast as a sort of escape. I was swimming 12 months of the year. Only problem is I was causing problems because people are stopping traffic on the bridges, getting out, looking what's going on here. What is that, a rogue seal? Nope, just a polka-playing musician in a thick black wetsuit. It got so much attention, Gary turned the unusual winter hobby into an annual fundraiser. Fighting a pretty strong current, he did finish this three-mile swim and raised 6000 bucks for the Ukulele Kids Club. Now, you may be wondering, but Creek Man doesn't mind the cold. Whenever he needs to feel warmth, Gary visits his many friends at senior homes around the state. Ula, you've got company. Ula, hi, it's Gary. Sweden native Ula is 98 years old, and she still <laughs> loves to dance to old country tunes belted out by Gary's accordion. <laughs> Gary may not have gold records or a fancy tour bus, but to those who smile, thanks to his melodies, Yay, Ula. <laughs> Gary is a squeeze box rock star on a mission to breathe new life into Angelina the accordion and her many friends, so they play on forever. It's a big risk in life, you gotta admit, but somebody's gotta do it. 